G'day everyone and welcome to another video. In this video I'm tarp camping in the rain in the Mallee scrub desert with my daughter, with my dog. We're going to do some bushcraft, we're going to have a cook up. We've got this awesome fire going here, we're going to spend the night out here. So stick around for the video because it's a good one. There you are. I'm writing you better. With the car packed and my daughter and my border collie dog in, we were off on another adventure. My daughter had been asking me to head out to a desert. Being in Victoria, Australia, we don't have a lot of that. The closest place I could find that resembled dry, sandy country was a five hour drive out west. This was the Wimera, or the Mallee scrub country, marked by flat plains, rocky crags, sandy soil and low-lying scrub. We headed to a hip camp location which consisted of 200 acres of private property back and onto a national park bushland. This meant we could take the dog and we were in for a treat. And before we toss this letter away Birdie stay. Birdie stay. Come here. Alright everyone, this is Bodie. He's uh, tan and brown border collie. Uh, he's still, well, he's not a pup, he's I think two years old. Full of energy, big boy. And this is his first ever camp, isn't it Bodie? You're gonna enjoy yourself. You can come out now Bodie if you want. Come out, run around. Bodie, come. Try to find a good way. We can stand behind. All my friends tell me she's the one that got away. But you never Some beautiful sunshine as well, which is really, really nice because it was miserable weather the whole way here. And this is beautiful Mallee scrub country. I love it very different to what I'm used to doing the high country and bush and coastal and stuff like that so this is dry and flat down here so let's see what we can find hey Emma look can surely take your body wow how's the views here but some things stay no matter where you go do you still love me lies So what do we got here? We've got a little cubby house that's been built. That's cool. Check out this. You can cook up and have a little fire there. Well I'd say it's just as good as any place just setting up here. You know, <laughs> we've got a little cubby house, it's kind of cool, but we will set up the tarp, have a fire here, but I don't think this is actually a really, really cool little spot, so why not camp here? Bodie's having a cracker of a time, aren't you, Bodie? Look at that. And yeah, it's just scrub and bushland. That's awesome. So I'm going to set up the uh, Gunya shelter here, and that's where me, Emma, and uh, Bodie are going to sleep. It is a bit windy, but the wind's coming from this way, so if I set up the tarp facing out there, we should be protected. And it does mean we get a beautiful sunrise in the morning. It's pretty cool here, so bit of wind, but that's all right. Buddy, come here, mate. Let me take this off. You're probably getting hot. You don't need this till later tonight. There you go. Is that better? Yeah. Oh. Hey, Emma, have a look at this. Do you know what makes this kind of a... Uh, a uh, print? No. Have a look. There's lots of them around, yeah? What are they? I reckon that's kangaroo. I reckon there's lots of kangaroo through here. Yep. Because it's 
the winter, there's no bugs, there's no spiders. Whoa. It's alright. It's high point. Jeez, there's a lot of wind, eh? It's alright. To there? Okay. Buddy, buddy, buddy. That. Sorry. I can, do can you get me a peg, Emma? This is taking some time <laughs> to get the gunya shelter going. Uh, Emma's lost the pegs. She's gone for a walk in the bush and I think she's put them down somewhere. Buddy, buddy, buddy. I oh, lost the bruya. Tell me, Emma, Good. are we happy? Yeah. Go in there. Are you out of the wind? You feel protected? Yeah. This is where we're going to sleep. Let's see our view. Uh, our view? Views from miles. Uh, like that. Now, I've been given this uh, quilt, sleeping quilt, by Neve Gear. Uh, it's a beautiful looking quilt. I really, really like it. Um, I've never used quilts before, so this will be my first time. And um, this is a minus five. And yeah, I'll, I'll definitely put a link in this video to where you can get one of these quilts. So it's going to be my first night trying it. I love the feel of it. So it's a small Aussie, Aussie owned company, Aussie owned um, brand. And yeah, they do quilts sleeping bags and uh, they do backpacks as well which I've reviewed before so I'm gonna give this a go now the whole idea of a quilt is that you save weight by not having a back behind it having the insulated sleeping mat that should be perfectly fine and I'm really excited to give this a go and see how it performs it also comes with it these straps which you can actually I can put this around my sleeping mat like this so if you can see the whole idea of these um uh these straps is the quilt actually has these little clips so you can actually clip your quilt in and stop it from moving around in the night and really i can kind of just hop in there it's like a doona in a way it feels beautiful so yeah this is our sleeping arrangement and then for Bodhi. Bodhi should be sleeping right here next to me, and I brought a little blanket for Bodhi. Where? Bodhi? This is Bodhi's blanket. How's that? So good. Because it is pretty windy tonight, I actually might, I might use this um, and get a fire going in there and sit around that, and then I actually might shift it down a bit so it's here, so I can feed it like that in the night. The idea being, I can be in bed and I can just be feeding wood into there throughout the night and keep that fire burning. What do you reckon, Emma? Is that cool? I reckon we could be in for some rain. Those clouds are looking a bit stormy, so it's all right. Our fireplace would still go. It's awesome. <laughs> As we slowed down for the evening, we just took it all in. The stringy bark blowing in the wind, wildflowers starting to bloom, and birds chirping in low-lying banksias. Buddy, you having a blast? It was a balm to the soul to be out here in the quiet. No cars, no traffic, or no other people to be heard. Just kilometers and kilometers of open land. Dry, sandy country that usually gives off that tan sunburnt color. Instead, booming with vivid green from the recent winter rains. I'll always be amazed at the variation of the natural world we have here in this great southern land. What did you find there, Emma? What's that? 
Looks like a bit of a skeleton. Maybe from a kangaroo. This is going to be so cool tonight just to have a fire in here. Anyway, I just wanted to have a little bit of a chat about the channel, you know, and what helps me and what doesn't help me because um, I'm just about to reach monetization. I'm almost there and uh, I'm going to put a few things in place once I do reach monetization. For example, I'm going to do YouTube partnership and maybe a Patreon. So if anyone wants to help out, that'll be a real help to get out and keep making these videos. Uh, on top of that, I'm going to say, if you really want to help me with my channel, if you click on my video to watch it, if you could watch it all the way through, I mean, that would really help. I mean, even if you're not paying attention, that's fine. But with the YouTube algorithm, if it picks up that people are watching the video all the way through, that just boosts me on the channel. YouTube's going to promote me a little bit more. It does hurt my channel if you kind of click on it, watch for 30 seconds and say, ah, oh, I'm done. So I appreciate everyone who actually watches my videos. I really appreciate it that you guys watch it through. Um, you guys are fantastic and yeah, that's great. So I love what I'm doing. I'm almost at monetization. Once I get there, I'm going to have a bit of a break and probably instead of pumping out a video every two weeks, might just try and go for bigger adventures once a month that like really make it quite an epic adventure because I've been really inspired over the last month or so to push my adventures a little bit more. Not just pushing it with the kids, but also doing some survival stuff and some solo stuff as well. I'm, I'm always going to take kids out with me because that's what my channel's about. But I, I like mixing it up as well with the um, solo survival stuff. Uh, Outdoor Boys is a, a, a big inspiration for me. If you've seen their YouTube channel, it's a dad who takes his boys out in Alaska and the wilderness. And yeah, I like my channel to be a similar type of thing where sometimes I'm taking the kids out, sometimes I'm doing solo stuff. So... That's the plan for the channel. You know what, I'm almost there. And I just want to say, I really appreciate all the support that people have been giving me over the last year, I say. Year and a half, I've been really going hard at this. So anyway, I reckon that it's coming to time to get a fire going soon. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. And I've got a wet bum, so I'm gonna find something better to sit on here. Got to bring marshmallows, I should have. I'll buy you some marshmallows on the way home. How about that? Here comes the rain. Get our stuff undercover. Emma. Okay, a bit of rain came through. That's all right. I'm going to do a bit of bushcraft to get this going. And I'm going to be using flint and steel on a bit of charred cloth. So the idea is like that. And you get a spark on this. Let's see if I can do it. Okay, I've got it. Okay, now watch this, Emma. We put this in here, in this grass. Hopefully it's not too wet. Let's see if I can get this. There we go. Got it. Chuck that in there. Where's the other stuff? Beautiful. Build it up. Get 
his big ones in. It's raining. Here comes the rain, Emma. It's quite a view we have here, isn't it? Yeah. It's nice out of the wind, out of the rain. Yeah. We've got our own little fire there. We know the fire's not going to go out. Sunset has decided to just come on. Beautiful, look at it. Alright, it's cook up time. It's uh, 5.30 and we're both very hungry, aren't we, Emma? Speak, speak, shake, ready to turn around, ready to drop, ready to go around me, okay buddy eat your food. <laughs> A very disciplined dog here. Okay, buddy. <laughs> Put your jacket on so you can stay nice and warm tonight. Oh, this old boy, he's a little bit scared of the dark. <laughs> Well, sometimes things don't always go as planned. We had set up the tarp overlooking the beautiful Mallee scrub uh, with the grampians in the distance and the whole idea was to wake up to the sunrise. But it's overcast and cloudy and there's really not much of a sunrise at all. There's a lot of rain in the night, uh, quite a bit of rain, but yeah, we were nice and snug under the tarp. But he kept trying to cuddle up to me in the night and I was worried he was going to pierce my uh, Alton Goods uh, sleeping sleeping mat but that's all right he was all right on his little bed there the quilt did really well i was really warm in this quilt last night it was beautiful there was a point in the night around two o'clock where the wind picked up and was coming in so i did put this uh paired it with this kind of reactor liner and these two things together just was really warm and i love the feeling of a quilt actually it's kind of like having a doona on your bed um, it's first time sleeping in a quilt and i really enjoyed it but yeah for for such a compact and lightweight, you know, bit of sleeping gear, it's really, really warm. So I would highly recommend uh, 
a quilt from Neve Gear and you know Australian owned business it's just good to support uh, you know smaller businesses so I'll put a link in the description if you guys want to pick up a uh, Neve Gear quilt Brady's already off exploring I guess it is nice coming out here to this country in wet cold weather because usually you know I'm used to this area when in the hot and in the summer and you know you think of the dry dry Wimera dry Mali country so yeah coming out here in wet winter it's it's got a different mood to it it's nice it's very much greener than I thought it would be it's beautiful Somebody. You're a funny dog. <laughs> there you are. Yeah, it takes loading down. Oh, good boy, huh? So it was good to take Bodhi out on his first ever camp. I think he did all right. He's nice and warm, warm in his Burke and Will's jacket last night. And yeah, and Emma, did you have a fun time? Yeah, it was cool sleeping under the tarp as well. If you've liked this video, please give it a, uh, a like, give it a comment, share it. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe, do all that good stuff. It helps the channel. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good one. I know everyone thinks it of their own backyard, but us Australians might just live in the most wild and beautiful landscape on earth. Of course I'm biased, but how could I not be on this island home, full of strange and unique animals and plants, vast landscapes and the liberty to roam. Don't take it for granted. Generations before us and others in faraway lands didn't have and currently don't have these opportunities to explore such beauty with the freedom we have. So get out of those four walls, pack the sleeping bags in the car and go and see what's out there. Oh, and don't forget to take your kids and your dog. They'll certainly be thankful for it. Look at this dog! <laughs>